that is the Kenyan scorecard. Only one innings of note. Thomas Odoyo couldn't really go for it today. 118 all out in 41.2 overs. A total of 11 extras. And uh, the bowling really masterly today. 11 extras in the Kenyan total of 118. And there you see fantastic work by all the Bangladeshi bowlers. Started by Russell, 8 overs, 2 for 18. Rafiq steady bowling, 1 for 16 of 6. And the pick of the bowlers and the star, Mashafi Murtaza, 10 overs, no maidens. But more importantly, 6 wickets for 26 runs. And steady bowler by the young two spinners, Razak and Hassan. Started off with a wicket on the first ball of the innings. Seth Russell taking the wicket, caught in front. And an edge just sneaking past Khalid Masood. Close run out call there. Just uh, the, asked for the third umpire, but eventually, there you go. The ball hitting the stumps and still. He was in thankfully. Use of the feet but to no avail. End of another wicket Patel. Patel dropped in the deep. Reasonable chance. Really didn't cover it. Tushar Imran. Some sloppy fielding there by the Bangladeshi but very rare. And there's the wicket LBW. And then the four by Steve Ticolo and here he was given his first chance and dropped from the slips by Shai Nafis and brilliantly three fours next by Tanya Mishra played it very delicately in the third and then the master batsman Steve Ticolo and then beautifully taken in the mid wicket Getting the prize we get of the captain. And then the wicket for the youngster, Tanvi Mishra playing it on. And then a beautifully shot played in the mid wicket by Thomas Odoyo. And then really a questionable decision there, hitting it a little high. And next to go was Bridget Patel. And then Odiambo's wicket, a straightforward wicket for the left armor. And Odoyo hitting a huge six, the first of the inning. And then uh, caught behind. And the disappointed Thomas Odoya goes back and Peter Ongondo going for the big one, the second six of the inning. And that was the last wicket, the Kenyan Peter Ongondo and Russell finishes again with a big smile. Thank you, Shamim. I'm here with the man of the moment, uh, Mashafi bin Murtaza, who's picked up the best ever one-day figures for Bangladesh one-day international cricket. Six wickets. Well done, Mashafi. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank my Allah. Yeah, that was a good performance. I'm very happy with this performance because uh, this is the best performance in my life. Yes, you bowled uh, within yourself, uh, but uh, there was one thing that came to note. Uh, everybody noted that you didn't bowl with the new ball. When you came back with the third change, you had a different plan. Happy with bowling with the coming in on uh, one change? The yeah, coaches decide that I have to bowl in the, uh, one uh, one change because Steve is the best batsman inside. So uh, I bowl with the uh, uh, one change and I am uh, happy with that. Uh, you've had a few injuries but you looked very good. You were very aggressive. You're running hard and bowling very fast. Good to see that. Yeah, always I work, to work with my physio and trainer and I'm getting much better now. So I think I want to much uh, better, I want to much better performance in future. Thank you and uh, very well done again. Thank you very much. Well, the Bangladeshi batting card. Hughes Tutters up front when Jarya Nafiz trying to cut a ball, edged it to Oboya 
of Odoyo and then Ashraful and Aftab Ahmed went in similar fashion. There's a horrible mix up when Tushar and Brown was out, both batsmen stranded in one end, but then that brilliant partnership between Zakib Ul Hassan and Farhad Reza taking Bangladesh to victory in only the 27th over. As far as the bowling is concerned, steady bowling by Thomas Odoyo, 8 overs, 1 for 20. Peter Ongondo coming strong post lunch, 2 for 37. And Odiambo bowling 6 overs for 27. And Ababu was taken to all parts of the field, 3 overs, none for 32. So here's the match summary. In the Bank Alpha La Cup, the third match, Kenya batting for first were 118 in 41.2 overs. Bangladesh just managed, needed 27 overs to overtake that score and win the match by six wickets. Well, we're going to have a look at the highlights of the Bangladeshi innings and it's been quite eventful. Here's uh, an edged four by Shari and Nafiz over the top. He is stroking the balls brilliantly. That one through the covers. But eventually, there you see backward a point to the third man region. And a lovely cover drive, full face of the bat. Ashraful pulled a few to the mid wicket boundary. We like to watch. And then. Nafi is trying to tickle one away from his body, taken brilliantly by Kennedy behind the wicket. And things changed in the afternoon with a glorious four by Aftab. And there's the wicket of Aftab, caught by the captain. And uh, followed by that was Mohamed Ashraful in a similar fashion, straight into the hands of the captain of Ongondo. And some panic was brought in to the Bangladeshis. And a fantastic drive there. And there was the big mix up, a disaster. And I'm sure the coach will not be too happy with that run out. And the partnership was steady from there on. The strokes after that was brilliant. The pull shot for Adreza first, and then again a similar kind of shot over the top. Lovely cover drive, desperate effort in the field, but look at that timing, look at that placement, beautiful. And then Faraz Dreza took over. He was really on top of the Kenyan bowlers, hitting them all across the ground. This one cut away square of the wicket through the covers. Lovely shot, past the bowler, no one moved, well tried to move, but then gave up. And then over the top, a big, big six. Lost the ball initially. Next one, the four winning shot coming from Sakibul Hassan. So the two youngsters taking Bangladesh to victory.